use truth tables to show that the argument forms referred to in 13 through 21 are valid. Indicate which columns represent the premises and which represent the conclusion. And include a sentence explaining how the truth table supports your answer. Your explanation should show that you understand what it means for the form of argument to be valid. So number 17 uh, says example 2.3.4b. And so I found 2.3.4b, which is right here. So we have to create a truth table for each of these statement forms, and then we'll talk about them. So to determine whether or not this form of argument is valid, we have to only consider the lines in which the assumptions are true. If the assumptions are false, then the argument is valid vacuously. So we don't need to consider the second line or the third line or the fourth line because these are situations in which the assumption is false. And then in the first line, the assumption is true, and so is the conclusion, which means that the argument is still valid. So now we can see clearly that whenever the assumptions are true, the conclusion is also true, which means the argument form is valid. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.